Okay, so here's my argument as to why libertarianism needs anarchism. Why it depends on it. And a lot of it's backed up on my Tumblr counterpart to the argument. So that's just what I'm going to do. Now, liberty is constantly constrained by circumstance. How humans organize themselves plays a humongous role in this predicament. And an advocate of liberty might see that voluntary association is best found in anarchism. Because anarchism has that aspect of a voluntary association. <laughs> it's, a, it's almost become a cliche that all anarchists have their own ideal form of anarchism. Their own ideal form of the society. And a libertarian anarchists also an anti-statist since the biggest intermediary to anarchism is the state. Although this isn't always the case, no offense to Noam Chomsky, conclusively the highest growth of liberty comes from voluntary association or anarchy. However, at, this is most likely something which ending the state's also vital at this era, where the state acts as an intermediary of anarchy. And... <laughs> That's just a thing. Um, libertarians vi need anarchism at the moment. No, it's the biggest aspect and the biggest growth to any libertarian ideology to incorporate anarchism into it. Because with anarchism, then um, you have a lot of the ideological backgrounds that um, complete libertarianism that really back up libertarianism because that's like a very heavy aspect of it it's very very heavy it's very construed into it so we're circumstan circumstantially um, in this state where we lose liberties where we don't have these basic liberties and I know I'm using liberty in a very vague sense, but in this case, the largest liberty that's being lost is that of voluntary association of organizations.